In this video, we're doing part two of our downtown New Bern tour, and we're going to discover Craven and Middle Street. Let's get started. What's up everyone, this is Ray Copeland with SellingNorthCarolina.com. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, and play right here in New Bern, then consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon. That way you'll be notified every time we drop a new video. Okay, so here we are at the intersection of Middle Street and Broad Street. Uh, the way we're looking right now, we are looking down Middle Street. If I turn around right here, uh, obviously here's where uh, Middle Street and uh, Broad Street uh, intersect. Um, we'll go over Broad Street in another video. Uh, there, there, is some, there is some places on Broad Street to go over. Um, probably not as much as Craven and Middle, uh, but uh, I will probably go over that in another video, probably when I do Pollock Street. So we're gonna go ahead and walk down Middle Street here. Um, right here off to my right, you have a really good restaurant, the Chelsea restaurant and catering highly recommend going there um, I do want to go over that on this video tour there is a lot of businesses restaurants uh, and places on middle and Craven Street so if I forget anything please forgive me it is not intentional um, it's just that it's possible that I may forget something um, but as you can see up there there is the intersection of middle and Broad Street, and we just passed, like I said, the, the Chelsea restaurant. Also, there is the Drip IV Wellness and Med Spa. So if we continue going down Middle Street, there are some various businesses. You got a salon off to my right, right here. And then we're coming up on Bella's Cafe and Catering. So this is Bella's Cafe and Catering. Highly recommend that you come here and check it out whenever you get a chance. Off to the right right here is one of my kids' favorites it is Cow Cafe. Homemade ice cream. They got, they call it gourmet food. See what they did there? Ice cream, hot dogs, sandwiches, uh, and whatnot. Uh, off to the left right here, um, you have uh, a couple businesses. There's a lawyer's office over there. Here you have the art gallery, which is pretty neat. I won't go inside, like I said, I don't. I'm not for sure how people feel about, or businesses feel about recording. And honestly, to get every single business permission to record, it would just take a long time, and I feel like I wouldn't be able to put out content uh, as quick as I would want to. Off to the left right here, there is uh, Christ Church, Christ Episcopal Church. Uh, they also have, it's, it's on Middle Street and also Pollock Street. On, on the Pollock Street side, uh, they have a playground. We go there a lot. Um, they also do a really cool pumpkin patch during the fall there. Go get your pumpkins. And right here we have natural and organic market. Lots of uh, organic stuff in there to, to go ahead and buy. And so, uh, let me go in here, which is really neat. Uh, there's some businesses that are in this tunnel right here. Uh, down at the end, you have the Bay Leaf Restaurant. Uh, here is that organic store that we just passed. Right here is the Community Artists Gallery and Studios. So I apologize that the lighting's bad in here. Right here is uh, Seafoy Tontorial Parlor. A uh, really good barber here in downtown New Bern. Been there a few times, really, really good. Highly suggest that you check it out. Here is the Nicholas Sparks Foundation office. And then you got uh, photography studio, Michelle Salzman's photography studio. And then here at the end, you have the Bay Leaf restaurant. It's uh, authentic Indian cuisine. Okay. So going out here. Uh, 
A lot of history here in downtown uh, New Bern. Honestly, too much to go over in just a tour video. But uh, as you can see right now, we're coming up on the intersection of Pollock and Middle Street. So if I can just pan around real quick so you can see this intersection. There's the church over there. This is looking back down the part of Middle Street that we just came off of. There's Pollock Street. Like if we were to go this way, uh, it would take you all the way to Tryon Palace. So we're gonna go ahead and cross the road here. Hey, how you doing, sir? So continuing on Middle Street right here. Now off to the right right here is uh, First Baptist Church. There's the church right there. We'll walk by the church in just a second, but here's their garden area right here. Really nice garden area. You come over here, take a, take a breather, sit on a bench, read a book, do whatever you need to do. And so just gonna pan around right here and then we'll walk back out to Middle Street. So another really uh, cool thing about downtown New Bern, obviously these were all old businesses back in the day. Um, almost everything, well I know this, I know this, everything on the ground level on Middle Street is a business or an office. Uh, and majority of everything up top, I'm not saying everything, because I actually don't know 100%, but uh, most of everything up top are uh, condos, lofts that you can actually own and buy. So I do want to point out that over there on that side of Middle Street is the Pepsi store. Highly suggest that you check that out if you ever visit New Bern. Honestly, they have the best fountain Pepsi. Good, good popcorn, uh, but the Pepsi's they're just hit a little different than most places. Uh, right here you have the Four C's, uh, more so like a general store. They have a little bit of everything in there. Over there you have the Black Cat Shop. Uh, really cool knickknacks in there. Like you can, I don't know, I kind of look at it a place you can buy really cool gifts, gag gifts, funny toys, stuff like that. Practical jokes, they have that kind of stuff in there. Continuing down Middle Street. Off to the left over there, you have Tom's Coins and Antiques. I think it kind of speaks for itself. It's got antiques in there, coins, sports cards. Uh, you can even get some silver. Uh, I think you can even buy some gold in there. So here is First Baptist Church right here. Really beautiful church. Founded in 1809. I'll just pan around right here so you can check out Middle Street. I'm trying not to rush this video. And if anybody's wondering, I am filming this on a Friday afternoon, a little after 3 p.m. So it's not as busy as it's gonna be as we get later in the day, as everyone gets off work. But let's go ahead and continue. All right, continuing on Middle Street here, if I pan off to the left, you got some uh, clothing stores. Uh, I think that's called Lula Baloo. I, I messed that up. If I messed it up, I apologize. Um, you got the old Bynum's Drug Store. That's not operational anymore. You have some executive offices right there. I'll pan back around. Like I said, there's First Baptist Church. Continuing down. Middle Street. Right here you have Thornberry Brides. Apologize, I was trying to read that, make sure I read it right. Uh, obviously, self-explanatory, you can get wedding dresses. I think it's really the only wedding dress, wedding, really, I think it's actually the only wedding dress shop here in Newburn. and I could be wrong. Really cool, gotta check it out. All right, so right here, this is the, it's funny enough, this is the middle of Middle Street. Well, it's technically not the middle. I guess the intersection back there would have been the middle, uh, but this is the middle of this section. 
this side of Middle Street. And I will walk over there because it's some really cool area. This the Bear Plaza over there. And so let me go ahead and walk over. Let me not get hit by a car. So the Bear Plaza is really cool. They, they've obviously taken everything down, but you know, just a couple weeks ago, this thing was fully decked out for Christmas. I should have done a video, but I didn't, you know, trying to focus on spending time with the family. But this is where like right here where that bench is right there. That's where Santa's uh, house is, his workshop. And so, you, you know, the kids can come out here and schedule pictures with Santa. They have lights scheduled. I mean, they have lights strung all out here. They got snow machines. So it snows in this area. There's decorations everywhere. But this is Bear Plaza right here. Uh, another good uh, place to, to talk about is right there. That is Bear City Fudge and Ice Cream. Really good fudge. Got some good ice cream. Have a lot of candy selections in there. So obviously the kids love going in there and checking that out. Also too, if you continue going through Bear Plaza and go straight through, this is actually a shortcut to go right over to Craven Street. Uh, so just a uh, little secret there. If you ever come to New Bern, you don't actually need to walk all the way around. You just come into the Bear Plaza right here and walk out the back and it'll walk you straight through to Craven Street. So coming through this way again. So a couple things to talk about right here. Um, on this side, you have uh, Surf, Wind & Fire, uh, clothing store. I have some really good uh, items in there, coats, shirts, pants, all sorts of things. They also have the, uh, the Surfing Pig, which is Sip & Shop. You can get you some adult beverages right here as well. Kind of panning around. Right over there, I actually ate there this morning. That is Baker's Kitchen. Uh, restaurant and bakery. I honestly tell all of my clients that if you come to New Bern and you don't go to Baker's Kitchen, then you're missing out. And if you need a recommendation, I highly suggest their French toast with the butter syrup. I'm not even going to try to explain it any further than that, other than when you get here, that's just what you need to order. All right, so we cross back over Middle Street right here. We'll go and uh, we'll talk about uh, the rest of those shops down there, but I want to go in here. This is the Omarks building. There you go, sir. All right, so in here, this is the Omarks building. And some of these shops you saw from the outside, like for this one over here, this is uh, WITN Channel 7, uh, one of their offices. Here's the Thornberry Brides. You can access from within the Omarks building. And on the left side is all post office. So there is a post office here in downtown New Bern if you need to check it out. Um, there's two levels here in the Omarks building. Everything upstairs is just offices and businesses. Um, if we go over here, there is uh, New Bern Live, which is a, a local media company, um, as well as you have a, there is another barber that's right in here. It's called uh, Bar Beer Studio. It's actually the only barber that I know that you can come get your hair cut and get a beer. Um, so coming down here, obviously they're still taking some stuff down from Christmas. Fun fact, this area right here is kind of like a backup area for the Bear Plaza out there where Santa is. If it's raining, they come in here, kind of a backup area. Uh, I wanted to come all the way down here to show you Bear Town Escape Room. Obviously, if you've never done an escape room, I highly suggest you do one. They're very fun, especially with a group of people. Um, so if you ever come to New Bern, you want something fun to do, come and do the Bear Town Escape Room. All right. How are you doing? Good, you. Doing all right? Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and walk out of the Omarks building.
All right, so we're back out here on Middle Street. We just walked back out of the Omarks building, just painting around. Like I said, across the street over there, you got Surf, Wind & Fire. It's an outdoor clothing and equipment store. Uh, right here on this side is Baker's Kitchen. Like I said, you got to come to Baker's Kitchen and get you breakfast if you ever visit New Bern. All right, so right over there, there is the Bruin, uh, which is craft beer and wine. One of the many bars in downtown New Bern. Right here, you have a store, Blue Magnolia. They have all sorts of stuff. Uh, looks like they have some clothing, some decorations, stuff like that. Right over there, you have uh, the Poor House. Uh, which is another bar. You have a couple of salons. There's another salon, sorry. And over there you have the Nautical Star Coffee Company. Panning around here again so you can check out. Middle Street here. So off to the right right here, you have Cypress Hall Kitchen and Bar. Really nice open area right here. It's a really cool restaurant. And then over here you have MJ's Raw Bar and Grill. If you love seafood, that's a place you gotta check out if you come to New Bern. Another store right here. Right here you have Midtown Olive Oil. And so like I said, I'm panning across the other side, there is uh, MJ's uh, Raw Bar and Grill. Right there, there is Snapdragon, which is a really cool toy store. Uh, my kids love going in there. Panning back over here. Right here you got a little open area. They, they hold some events right here and do some stuff here. So over there, you got another store, it's called Silver Line. Then you have Naughty Paws right there, uh, which is the really cool uh, pet boutique and dog bakery store. And then right there, you got another restaurant on Middle Street called Captain Raddy's. They got everything, seafood, uh, just normal American food, burgers, cheesesteaks, stuff like that. So now we're coming down to the intersection of Middle and South Front Street. Remember the last video we did uh, South Front Street this was in the last video, this whole road right here. If you continue down this part of middle, obviously it'll take you to, uh, you, can, you can access the Double Tree by Hilton Hotel, and also you can um, also access the SkySail condominium buildings. So what we'll do is we're gonna cross over and we're gonna walk around and then I'll pick back up with you when we are on Craven Street. All right, so we're coming up on Craven Street, and this is actually the intersection of Craven and South Front Street. Um, if you continue down that part of Craven Street, you'll just get to the other side of the Double Tree uh, by Hilton Hotel. As you can see on the other side of Craven Street right here, you have the Nautical Wheeler store. I did mention this uh, when I did the South Front Street. They have uh, kind of a bunch of everything in there, shoes, clothing, clothing, jewelry, gifts. Um, right beside that, you have uh, the Egan Med Spa. And right beside that, you have the Last Detail, which is another store. Looks like they have home decor, treasures, unique gifts, contemporary art. I've actually never been in there. So um, check it out if you ever come to New Bern. So continuing down um, Craven Street. Now I will say that Craven Street does not have as much on it as Middle Street does. And so as we come up here on the left, uh, a big focal point here in downtown New Bern is uh, Mitchell's Hardware. Um, obviously it speaks for itself. They have a bunch of hardware items. They also have a lot more of that too. They have hardware, gifts, home and garden, uh, just a really cool staple of downtown New Bern. Highly suggest that you check out uh, Mitchell's Hardware when you visit New Bern. 
On that side, you have a uh, framing and art store. You die. Off to the left right here, you have the Accidental Artist. This is a really cool place. Uh, I took my kids here a few times. We've taken our kids here a few times. Basically, if I can show you real quick, if you can look on the shelf over there, they have pre-made potteries, whether it's animals, shapes, all sorts of stuff. And the kids can sit at one of those tables right there and they get, you can pick out your paint, you got your brushes, and you can paint your pottery. And then what they do is they, I think they put it in an oven and where it turns it all shiny. And then they call you like two days later and you come pick up your, your, your piece of art. And then you, you're at that point in time, you're, you're officially an artist. Um, so over there you have the Twice As Nice store, which is a, an upscale consignment boutique. That's Twice As Nice. All right, continue walking down Craven Street right here. So off to the right right here, we have some, some office buildings. Right in front of me is probably one of my favorite restaurants in downtown New Bern, which is Morgan's Tavern and Grill. Um, highly suggest that you check it out when you come to downtown New Bern, Morgan's Tavern and Grill. There's the entrance right there. They have all sorts of stuff. They have burgers, steaks, seafood. Um, they actually have a really good meatloaf if you like meatloaf. So check out Morgan's Tavern and Grill when you come in to downtown New Bern. Like I said, off to the right right here, some, uh, some office buildings. Right here to my left is uh, another bar. It's called Harry's Blind Tiger. And then they have an outside section right here. Continuing down Craven Street. See off to the right over there. Some more office buildings. Look like you got Edward Jones. Uh, yeah, so prepare for retirement, paying for education, all that good stuff. Edward Jones, shout out. Uh, then right here uh, at this part of Cra Craven Street on the corner, you got Peacock's Plume, which is um, a um, boutique clothing store. So, and it looks like right now they're having semi-annual sale. 50% off. So check out Peacock's Plume. And then off to my left right here, you have the city of New Bern, uh, I call it the souvenir shop. Oh, sorry. Actually called the Burn Bear Gifts. Burn Bear Gifts, but I've always called it the New Bern Souvenir Shop. So if you ever visit New Bern, it's on the corner of Craven and Pollock Street. Come and check it out. Um, get you some newborn souvenirs for yourself, for your friends, for your family, for your kids. And so right now, like I said, we are on the uh, intersection of Pollock Street and Craven. Let me look back, back down the part of this Craven Street that we just walked down. And let me pan back around. This is Pollock Street. We're gonna do Pollock Street in another video, but for the time being, we don't have much more to go over uh, for Craven Street. I'm just waiting to cross the road right here. Let me go ahead and cross it. So I do want to show you right here is City Hall. There is the New Bern City Hall building. Okay, so we just finished walking Craven and Middle Street, but I figured it'd be a good idea. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up my camera and I'm just gonna drive down Middle and Craven Street. I'm not gonna say anything. I just want you to experience what it looks like when you drive down it. I put a little bit of music on it and I uh, hope you enjoy and uh, talk to you soon.
So that's it for the tour of Craven and Middle Street. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is part two of the downtown New Bern tour. Be on the lookout. I plan on dropping part three and within the next week or week and a half. And, and remember, look, if you're thinking about moving to the New Bern area, do not hesitate to reach out to me. My number is on this screen. Also, the rest of my contact information is down in the description of this video. Days, nights, weekends, we got your back when moving to New Bern. And until the next video, take care.